Hello, my name's Derek, I'm a web developer and what we're going to be looking at is building a website from scratch. So I'll take you across the entire journey because one of the most important things with a website is planning. Whether it's a new one, whether you're redeveloping an old one or just looking at making some changes, I think um, planning goes a long way. Process I go through is what I call the four D's, and they are discovery, design, development, and deployment. And I use this approach for any website I build. It doesn't matter how big it is, how small it is. It always follows this exact same pattern. The various other steps might be quite different depending on the on the project, but really it's it's a four D process. Features. What features are we going to want? Well, of course, we're going to need um, basic web pages, uh, static pages, and we'll need some kind of contact form, maybe some clickable links for people. Um, what else are we going to need? Um, pages for uh, showcasing the projects that have been built, and of course, a job action. You know, and a jobs page with the listings of current vacancies and position descriptions. In the good to have list, we'd probably have some kind of learning management system for people to do things like inductions and that kind of stuff and to keep track of you know, various sort of training certificates and things for employees. Something to be quite useful for um, human resources people. Okay, so looking at the pages that we want, we'll have a home page, an about page, contact page, the job vacancies page, projects page, and also one for news. Let's not forget um, latest news. Next question to ask is where is the project going to live? Now, um, the company would like to be able to have some kind of control themselves. So what we're looking at is probably some kind of cPanel hosting. That gives us a choice of a virtual private server or some kind of um, shared hosting. Where it's going to live leads on to the technology stack. So if it's going to be some kind of cPanel type hosting, then what we're looking at is a LAMP stack, so Linux, Apache, PHP, and MySQL. Yep, I got that out of order. Yeah, so it'll be that or some sort of close variation thereof. That then leads us on to technology choices. What are we going to be using to build the site on? Now the options we've got, we could probably go fully customised, something built on something like Laravel. The plus for that is it's extremely customisable, you can build almost anything out of it. The downside being is it does take a lot more work, so it can be a bit more expensive and take more time. Next in the list is WordPress. Now WordPress would do most of the brochure stuff that we're looking at on the site, but there are a couple of things that um, I'm, I'm a bit wary of. One would be the job ads and the position descriptions, and the other would be uh, adding a learning management system in, in the future. Now WordPress does a very good job for most websites, but in this case I want to be able to do some customization and I don't find WordPress is the easiest candidate to do that with. Next option is Drupal. Now Drupal has a lot of advantages and doesn't get used enough in my opinion, but um, that aside, we can do things like custom content types, fine grain user permissions, gives you a lot of functionality just, just straight out of the box. There's a reason why it's often used in corporate and government sectors. However, Drupal is quite big and what I'm after is something lighter. Last on the list is October or Winter CMS. Now October CMS is very lightweight and gets back to basics, well that's part of its mission statement. 
It's based on Laravel, so you can add lots of customizations to it from the Laravel interface. So in some ways, for a developer, it's a developer's dream. How is it for an ordinary user? Well, actually, the back end is nice and simple. It's very clean and quite easy. To it's pretty simple and straightforward to log in, add, edit, and delete content. That makes it, in my view, a very, very strong contender. Now, October CMS has moved on to being version 2, and with that has come uh, quite a major change. It's moved from being an open source platform to a paid platform. Now, the paid platform is not that onerous. It's nine US dollars per project. Or there are various um, membership tiers available on their website. With the change to the paid model, the people of October say that's, go that's going to result in them being able to produce better quality. Given all the changes at October CMS, it's not surprising that there have been some splits. Uh, a couple of developers have left October and gone off and created their own project. And that's called Win. At the moment, winter and October are pretty much interchangeable. They're sort of at that fork in the road. But uh, eventually what's going to happen is they're both going to take on their own lives and evolve, and evolve into their own life forms. And because October is a paid platform, that does put up some barriers for anybody who wants to follow along with this co yeah, and code along with me. So what I've done is decided I'm going to build this project using Winter CMS. So what have we done? We've looked at what we have and we've also looked at where we're going. Now, um, in that respect, we've looked at things like the audience, features, where the site's going to live, and that, of course, has led us on to the tech stack. In the next one, we'll look at some of the design, how to sort of start a design process. This has been a very quick overview of a, of a discovery process. There's all sorts of different ways of doing it. Next time, we'll look at getting a design out of the information that we have and what we've got. Thank you for watching, and... Um, Please like, subscribe, all that sort of stuff, and I'll see you in the next one.